Hi guys, what's up? So, welcome to Friday's workout. Um, today's workout is going to be changed to you, but I'm going to modify it a bit, okay? Because yesterday, um, that 800 rep workout was absolutely brutal, okay? So, I uh, understand people will be sore this morning. Um, and they might be put off being like, oh no, he's going to absolutely kill us again. So, I'm going to drop it back the intensity a wee bit because it's unfair. Okay, I want, if I make it too tough again today, people aren't going to get it finished and then it's a bit counterproductive so i'm gonna change it up today and we're going to do a wee bit of core work Um, nothing too intense um because of yesterday and then tomorrow for the optional workout i'm going to do another sort of chipper uh as we've been doing so yesterday was just more like a like as many as quick as possible um sort of workout but tomorrow's going to be like we're going to go for like 400 reps okay uh 500 reps each I'm just going to chip away at it, okay? And it's going to be a bit tougher exercises. Um, and it's going to be full body instead of just one. Um, instead of lower body, sorry. So, enough talking. So, what we're going to do today is we're just going to start off with a simple bit of groundwork, working on our core, stabilization. And how we're going to do that is we're going to do a thing called plank pyramid. So, it's very, very simple. We're going to plank whatever way you want to plank. If you want to plank on your in a press up position okay if you want to plank down on your forms the way i'll do it or if you want to plank do like a sort of like reverse plank where you're on your back okay legs up and you're just squeezing or if you want to do it like a hollow body and just hold them okay whatever you want to do out of them exercises you're going to do it and how it's going to work is this very simple you're going to hold for 10 seconds okay then we're going to rest for 10. We're going to hold it for 20 seconds. We're going to rest for 10. Then we'll hold it for 30 seconds, rest for 10. And then we'll do 30 again, and then 20, then 10. Okay, so you're working up, and then working back down the pyramid. Okay, it's very simple. Um, once we do that, we're going to take a break. And we're going to do four rounds. But now, it mightn't seem like much. It might The first uh, set of it, you'll be like, oh, this is easy enough. But trust me, as it goes round, I'll get a bit tougher. So we're going to do that. After that, there, we're going to do a few more core exercises. And that'll be it for today. Nothing nothing too crazy. Sound good? Let's get at it. So what I want to do is get set. Whatever one you're going to do, get set in that position. Okay, so the first plank is for 10 seconds. And we're starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Squeeze the bum tight. Keep everything neutral. If you're finding that easy, bring your forearms further away from you. Four, three, two, one. Take a break. You have a 10-second break. These are really, really good, especially for people who struggle to hold it for a long period of time because you're getting wee breaks. You're letting the, the core recover. Three, two, one. We're back up. Squeeze tight. Squeeze tight. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the core tight. This is 20 second hold. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, okay? Now, it'll feel easy so far, but it will get tougher. Three, two, one. We're back up 30 seconds this time. Just big deep breaths. Control the breathing. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the cord tight. Five, four, three, two, one, take a break. Okay, we're going 30 seconds again. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Start to feel it shake, start to feel it burn. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, rest. Take a 10 second break and then we're going for 20 seconds this time. Three, two, one, let's get up and hold. Ten seconds to go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, take a ten second break. Then we go again for ten. Really, really simple day today. Basic but effective. Three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, ah, rest. Now, you should have felt that. That's a good first set. Okay, it's gonna activate the core. Right deep in, get our get ourselves functioning. Um so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that again, or else I'm gonna show you the whole body the other options, okay? If you just get bored being in that same position, you can always change up, but it's gonna do the exact same thing. And like always, make sure your back structure is perfect, straight, no arching, no bending. Um, and we'll get back into it in 10 seconds here. So, now you're back. This one's quite tough. So, what you want to do is this. Okay, legs out, don't let the backwards. Hands up, and just squeeze the core like a dish. Two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh dear, that's tight. Okay, this one will be 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Squeeze, squeeze tight. Ah, five. Four, three, two, one. Oof. Take a break. Okay, we go again in seven seconds. 30 second hold this time. I'm really starting to struggle. Four, three, two, one. Remember, you only have to let your legs go as low as you can without the back arching. Activate the core, keep it tight. Ah. Keep holding. If you need to, you can bring your knees in, up and squeeze. Just as long as you're keeping pressure on the core. Do not drop, don't give up. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good, you get a 10 second break and we're going for 30 seconds again. Okay, so just continue as long as you keep in one of the holds. I don't mind what we're doing. It's all about just getting that time under tension and activation. Two, one, up, squeeze. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Do not let that back arch, don't let your hand fit underneath. Push the legs out a wee bit. Ah, full the whole body. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Ten second break. We're going for 20 seconds this time. And, uh, tight going. Three, two, one, go. Ugh. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay, ten seconds this time. Three, two, one, let's go. 
ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And take a break. Good. Okay. You should be feeling that tight. Core activate, okay? Nothing too crazy, just a bit of burning sensation. I said before, okay? Today is more of a relaxing day because the past two days have been tough and we're just working on our core to help with our posture. A lot of people mess with saying the struggle. There's a lot of low, uh, big arts in their lower back. Their hamstrings are tight, okay? So try and doing more core work, lower ab core work will stop your back being like this in a rhodosis and start to bring your hips through. Another thing you need to do is stretch your hip flexors and then obviously we'll work on the glutes more, okay? Because if you're constantly walking about like this, with a big arch in your back, over time you're gonna get a lot of lower back pain and a lot of imbalances, okay? So that's why we're doing this. And we're gonna get three times a week, try and get the core in. Okay? So we're back down the ground. You can do whatever one you want, okay? So either the hollow body, or the um, plank. This time I'm gonna do the plank, but I'm gonna do it in a press up position. Okay, just so it, everything's not repetitive. I don't like doing the same thing, because if you keep doing the same thing, it gets boring after a while. So I like to change it up myself. Here we go. Three, two, one, up and hold, 10 seconds. And rest, easy. Very, very easy. So when you get up to the 30 second holds, that's when it gets tough. Two, one, go. 20 seconds this time. Hold. Three. Two, one, and rest. Good. 30 seconds this time. Four, three, two, one. Hold, come on. That's 15 going, 15 to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. Five seconds. We're back up again for another 30. Two, one. We're up. Squeeze. Big deep breath. Suck the belly button in. Towards the spine, shoulders down towards your bum. Squeeze your glutes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, this time we're back down to 20 seconds. Four. Three, two, one, go. Big deep breaths. Keep everything stabilized. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds left this time. Three, two, one, back up, hold, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest, okay? Okay, we've got one more set to do. Okay, so get a quick drink if you need it. Our final set.
Hopefully this will, hopefully this will uh, like me today. Keep it nice and simple, okay? And then tomorrow it goes harder again. Just get it out of the way today. What you can do if you want. Um, I'm going to start bringing it into the program next week. Okay, if you want to get outside the house for a bit. As well as doing our star runs, I'm going to try and bring in, you know, going out your street, doing a few sprints. And then building up, you know, 1K, 2K, sort of thing like that, okay? So you can try and up that there. If you want to do that today, just go out the street, you know, walk 1 or 2K. Or jog 2K or whatever you want. Um, just to get you started on that there, okay? Don't go too deep too quickly. So if, if it's your first time running in years, just go for a 1K. Not far at all. And then next time you do it, you just try and get faster. Faster. And then when it gets easier, you build it up. Right, so last set. I'm going to do... Let me see. I'm going to do hollow body again. Because I quite enjoyed that. But pick whatever one you want. Okay, if there's another exercise that's a hold, it must be a hold. If there's another exercise you want to do that's a hold, be my guest and do it as long as you hold it for these time frames. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And what you'll find is, those who have that bad lordosis that I was talking about, like myself, you will struggle to keep your back, back flat on the ground there if you bring your legs too low. That's why I'm keeping my legs high, okay? Two, one, let's go, 20 seconds. Really squeeze. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Thirty seconds this time. Three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, I'm gonna bring the legs in. Squeeze. And rest. 30 seconds again. Doing really well, guys. Nearly done for the day. Nice and simple, quick session, but effective. Up. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds out of 10, so 30 seconds to go and you're done. Two, one, go. Really feel your core active yet. Do not let that lower back arch. Fight against it, fight against it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, go. Come on, last five seconds. Four. Three, two, one, and rest. Now, nah. okay, that's going to do us for today. So, as I've said so many times, I'm going to keep repeating myself short, simple, effective. Okay, it's better getting up and doing that little bit of work than doing absolutely nothing. Okay, it keeps you in track, keeps you in the right mindset, and it gives you that good feeling that, yeah, it wasn't too bad, but I got up and done something this morning. I've got to work out over. And as I've said, if you want to go out, go for a walk, go for a jog, a couple of K, and record your time, and then each time try and get faster. 
Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a 30 minute, as many rounds as possible. Okay, so I'm going to give you um, work, an exercise. Okay, I'm going to give you five exercises and you're going to have 30 minutes to do as many rounds, as many reps of it as possible. And then you're going to record your scores, okay? Because that's the exact same work. It's going to be the same next Saturday. Take it easy and have a good Friday. Enjoy the weather. See ya.